YouTube another video. This time I'm going to show you how to set the fuse bits on an 80 mega chip so that you can use an external crystal with it and you don't need to use the internal oscillator which is 1 megahertz and you can just attach any other uh, crystal to it. Um, before we start let's um, have a look at what we have on the breadboard. Here obviously you can see I have an Arduino which I'm going to use uh, in order to communicate and uh, program um, the 80 mega. The configuration here is just a standard configuration and you can find it in the Arduino forum. Uh, you can find this exact setup also inside the sketch of the ISP which uh, we need to load uh, into the Arduino so that we can communicate with the chip. Aside from that we have two 80 mega 8s here. They're exactly the same. They're also set up exactly the same. And you can see both of them have a 16 megahertz crystal attached and uh, they have the same code inside with the same instructions to change the state of the output pin every quarter of a second. The only difference between them right now is that as you can see this one blinks quite faster than this one where this chip here is um, the, the fuse bits are already set to use an external oscillator so it's doing its job properly and it's flashing uh, every half a second and uh, this one still uses the internal oscillator and uh, that means that it carries out the code slower because we've I've compiled the code to be used with uh, just like an Arduino with a 16 megahertz crystal um, it can be fixed by software but this video is going to show how we uh, set the fuse bits so that we can use it with an external oscillator. Now you can see here um, I can just show you this small demonstration where this chip uh, if I remove the crystal oscillator here it just continues to work because the circuit is not attached and the chip is not looking for any uh, external input so um, right now the, cir the circuit here is not really active it's not active at all actually but um, in this one, if I remove the oscillator, it stops. It stops because it doesn't have uh, anything to give it uh, input to the clock and uh, it doesn't go to the next um, instruction inside the chip. And once I put it back, it just either continues to go in normal operation, but it can also hang because it's not something that you should be doing. But in any case, uh, what I'm going to do now is um, we're going to move to the computer and we're going to set the fuse bits on this chip to use a 16 megahertz crystal. Um, here you can see we have the ISP sketch which uh, I already uploaded into the Arduino and here we have the setup. Uh, it tells you exactly how to connect it and everything and I already uploaded it. And uh, the only thing that is left is um, to go to command prompt and you can see here where I've uploaded the exact sketch, just the blink example from the from the Arduino interface um, to both chips. And here you can also see the command that I used in order to uh, upload the code. So um, I'm just going to paste in here um, the command to set the fuse bits to use a 16 megahertz um, crystal. And uh, you can see it's pretty much the same, only um, there are two settings here which, uh, which we change. If uh, you want to know how these, uh, why we use these, uh, these figures here in the settings, um, then you can just Google it uh, just like I did. My goal is just to provide you with uh, quick information so that you can carry on with your project. So in any case, uh, we can see uh, we have the AVR Dude program here and um, the COM port, the baud rate, uh, the ISP which is the software that sits inside the Arduino, the type of chip which is an 80 mega 8 and if it was another chip then you would use a different code here. By the way I'm gonna um, set the uh, common um, command lines for different chips in the description of the video so you can find it there. And here we have the settings for the, for the fuse bits. We have the lower fuse and the higher fuse. And once I hit the enter, we can see that it carried out an operation, everything went fine. And what happens is that 
right now both uh, 80 megas they work exactly the same uh, you can see they blink at the same rate and that's because we uh, we fuse we set the fuse bits here to use an external oscillator and this time if I remove it then also this chip will stop working and it will wait until it will have further input so um, that's it I hope you liked this video and if you liked it then uh, please consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you next time